global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. A lot of us will come to the harsh reality of the fact that John and Medjuli's house and some other residential buildings were pulled down by the federal by the government of Enugu State and as well the Enugu Airport fence was also down. But most of us what most of us did not know is what transpired, how it all began, and the genesis and where we are as of today. But before we go to the news for further analysis, we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to get both subscribed and notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, more details have emerged on why the Nugu State government demolished a residential building belonging to an architect, John Jerry Emejelu, who on Wednesday demolished part of the Enugu State airport fence. The house located at Ezioque, Ezioku Street in a in community estate area of Trans Ecolo in Enugu East was on Friday pulled down by the officials of the Enugu Capital Territory Development Authority, ECTDA. Although some reports have claimed that the act was a reprisal following the falling of the airport fence by Emejelu, findings have however shown that the government's action is unconnected with the Enugu airport. Investigation carried over the weekend revealed that the house was standing on the water channel and needed to give way and the chairman of ECTDA, Dr. Joseph Ono, also collaborated to the fact. To this finding, it was also gathered that Emma Jello had been served with the notice of demolition before the government act, informing him that his property was standing on the waterline. It was also further gathered that not only Emma Jello's property was pulled down by EC, ECDTA, the agency had equally pulled down some shanties that sprang up around Akono Ibiam International Airport in Nugu. After other residents whose properties were affected confirmed on Saturday that they had earlier received a pre-demolition notice from the House of Works, Ministry of Works and Housing. On the demolished architect's building, it was further gathered that the demolition was carried out in compliance with a valid court order after it was duly served and the occupant of the house, a medjulu. In the order, to, in the order obtained, ECTDA prayed for an order authorizing it to demolish the respondent Emejulu's illegal structure located at number 23 stroke 24 Izioku Street, Izioku Street Community State Estate Enugu with code number 00300-5835. The agency also prayed that the court for an order restraining the respondent from carrying out any such development at that location. The court granted the application by motion expertise, stating that the applicant is authorized or directed to remove the respondent's illegal structure located at number 23, stroke 24, Ezioku Street, Community Estate, Enugu, with code number 00300-5835. Meanwhile, the Enugu State Capital Territory Development Authority has insisted that its actions were lawful, and not in reprisal to architect image the destruction of Enugu Airport perimeter fence. Chairman of ECTDA, Dr. Joseph Ono, while reacting to the allegation that the state government ex exercised revenge on image for demolition about two kilometers of perimeter fence of, of the Enugu Airport, said it was not true. Ono said it was not a revenge. He destroyed the federal government property, which has which he has to sort out with the federal government. But this is a state function, exercising control of unapproved structures. He was duly given 21 days notice and he was properly served. The property stood on waterway and it had to go. There's another building close to that one on the same street, which has already been marked for demolition. Tenants in that, in that one has already moved out because the property already has several cracks from the foundation and we are going to put it down very soon. If you are observant, you would have noted that the ECTDA has been carrying out control measures in Enugu Capital and M. Julius property cannot be an exception, despite whatever acts he has grind with the federal government. 
Following the destruction of the airport fence, the federal government has vowed to deal with architects emergently, decisively for willfully destroying a national security asset belonging to over 200 million Nigerians. In a related development, owners of property adjacent to Enugu Airport that were demolished recently by architect Emejulu himself have cried out to the federal government to come to their rescue. The landlords who made the call while narrating their ugly ex experience on Saturday said Emejulu had armed thugs to destroy, led armed thugs to destroy the property after demanding 15 million naira each from them. Mm. Speaking on behalf of the landlords in the neighborhood, Mr. Basel Madueke, whose duplex was destroyed, said it was the third time the perpetrator came with armed thugs to demolish their property. Madueke, who led newsmen round the affected structure, stre stressed that Emejulu's level of intimidation and brutality were unbearable. He alleged that Emejulu had been terrorized in the neighborhood, claiming to be the rightful owner of the entire area including the Enugu airport land which was also affected by his destruction exercise. Madoke explained that he just like most other landlords rightfully acquired the lands from Best Shelter Limited and have the necessary document backing them up. Also narrating his experience, a tenant of one affected one of the affected buildings, Mr. Kinsley Obiora, said that they woke up in the morning on that fateful day and were shocked to sit out pulling down the fence of their compound. Obiora, who expressed sadness at the incident, added that the armed thugs came into their apartment, destroyed other parts of the building, and cut away with their personal belongings. Another landlord, Mr. Joshua Akachuku Otu, gave similar narrative, describing the incident as embarrassing as he acquired his property legally. All right, you have heard this. This is really an intriguing news. We are, we are facts and figures are beginning to emerge. A lot of Nigerians was generating an outcry when the video came on online that how would the federal government, you know, correct a wrong with a wrong? If he had demolished the perimeter fencing of um, Enugu State Airport, it shouldn't be replaced. It uh, shouldn't be corrected by you know totally and absolutely destroying his property without going through legal redress or following due process. Well, uh, the Enugu the State uh, government have reacted and said, look, he still has his own issues with the federal government, which he has not settled out yet. That which is with the federal government for destroying, of course, the perimeter fence. But this particular reason why we demolished his house is simply because his house was standing on the wall, sitting on the waterway, and which they've duly given him um, um, notice, quit notice, uh, notice, uh, and also demolition notice and 21 days to be precise of which when it elapsed they had to do the need for but the surprising part is the fact that he unfortunately had been also doing almost something similar to other residents being that he had acquired the whole entire area including of course not accepting not ex ex exempting the airport uh, field and they say it belongs to him and he will get it one way or the other now he has a lot in his hands to start with his house is demolished and the fact that the federal government have not responded yet and uh, this is just still st level have not responded yet to his demolition of the federal asset that I, I really do feel for emergency but judging from the report we are hearing it looks like also he's actually ready for the equal to the tax based on what he has been doing to other landlords or from other, other property who he claimed are sitting or belt on his uh, land, landed a uh, land that he bought with his hard earned money. But that's we're going to wrap it up. What's your take on what um, um, architect Emmanuel has done to other persons and the fact that is there a way of escape? out of the fact that he had actually may have actually taken loss into his hands by dem demolishing the perimeter fencing of Enugu, Enugu airport being that he claims that all those parts who belongs to him or do you think that just messy and may prevail in this matter let's meet in our comment section let's interact don't forget to like share subscribe to our channel stay tuned for more of this and this and much more